We're here at the Madison County Detention Center, which is chronically overcrowded. We went straight to jailer Doug Thomas about this issue, something he's been talking to Madison County Fiscal Court about for weeks. There needs to be solutions put in place because at the moment, this facility, which is only made for 184 people to sleep in, is actually housing 396 as of today, with only 40 employees to supervise them all. Jailer Thomas gave us some more information. You no, know, my concerns about safety over here for the officers and the inmates that are here. So this reason I brought it up, put it on the agenda to bring it up to to for to, to get you know let's talk about it because it's it's, it's everybody's problem, you know physical court my problem it's everybody's problem. So uh, again, we're a crowded facility that uh, we have nowhere to put people. And when we talk about the state program, our holy state inmates, it's it's I wanted to opt out of that program. To get rid of possibly 82 people here, inmates that I had were state, and just wanted to get their concerns, you know, their ideas. Again, because we're one government here, let's all make a decision. You know, not only me, but I can make that decision, but I don't want to. I want to make it with everybody else. I want to work together here. Again, we talked about numbers, and they had some questions about finances. You know, and uh, um, again, I think this is something we're going to. Talk about at next physical court meeting. My numbers are right now is 396 total people. It's 380 something in house. I have some in, in Clay County. And how many beds? We're a 184 bed facility. So is this legal? I mean, is it allowed? What's the living conditions like in the jail? Well, let me say the Department of Corrections would allow 125% over, and we're 200. There's not room hardly anywhere. Even in the system, the state system, there's not any room. They, they, nobody had anywhere to take anybody. Um, these people that we're letting out, I mean, they're, they're getting out. The state's letting them out. The, our courts are letting them out. Um, and there's repeat offenders. And I'll see you next week. I mean, it happens that way. There's, the recidivism rate is very high. I think that a lot of it is due to drugs, the heroin, meth. It's just, it's just uh, uh, rapping out there. It's everywhere. And again, we're not the only county that's dealing with it. You go to Rockcast County, they're dealing with it not as bad as we are. Uh, Winchester dealing with it not as bad as we are. We seem to be right here. We're, we're, we're between Rockcastle and, and, and Winchester jails, and we get the blunt of it all right here in the middle. Everybody wants to stop here in Madison County. Everybody wants to stop here. Um, I don't know why. Don't know why, but we're just we're just so overcrowded. It's tough. The inmates only seem to be rising, possibly according to the jailer, because of the drug epidemic. So it's up to the Madison County Fiscal Court and the Detention Center to work together to try to find solutions to this growing problem. In Richmond for WBON TV, I'm Marissa Hempel.